Okay, good, <clears throat> excuse me. Good morning. Uh, we kind of ended abruptly yesterday, so I just kind of wanted to give a recap this morning of what happened last night. So uh, we were trying, you know, all the food around the world for the Flower and Garden Festival. Um, it was really hot. It was like 90 degrees. Um, and we had not slept very well the night before. And so um, we did find a really great spot and we were going to watch Harmonious. But um, we just decided to come back to the room because we were just exhausted. So that's what happened and we kind of I know we didn't vlog very much the rest of the night so sorry about that but we just came back to the room um, I took a nice hot shower and then we got into bed and went to bed and I slept really really well last night so this morning um, we are just grabbing some breakfast Dan actually just left to we mobile ordered some breakfast at intermission cafe here at all star music so he's going to go pick that up and um, we're gonna eat breakfast here in the room and the plan is to get to Animal Kingdom at some point today. That's where our park reservation is at. Um, so we'll go to Animal Kingdom. It is supposed to rain later tonight, so not sure how that'll work out. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. And thanks for watching and we'll show you breakfast when it gets here. Okay. He's back. Ta-da! <laughs> breakfast. That's our breakfast. So, um, Mobile ordered two of these um, bagel breakfast, breakfast sandwiches. sandwiches, which have bacon and cheese and egg on there. Yeah. You know, pretty basic, but it does, it does the job. Ooh, our coffee's here. Which one am I using? Forks. Oh, that one. Rotation and Do you not want to share a fork with me? Okay, back to breakfast. Potatoes. We got our coffee. We got needed to order some extra coffee. And we got a little cinnamon roll. Mm -hmm. so let's see how that is. And some orange juices. So, pretty basic. Yeah. Does the trick though? Yes. Quite heavy line, as you can see. A little coffee. This is what the coffee still, maker looks like. like clean line, some golf. Some sports ball. Line. Morning golf. <laughs> okay, it's probably about 11.30. Probably. I don't know exactly, but... Probably. Probably. <laughs> we uh, are on our way. We're waiting at the bus oh, that's stop. That's a good background. I know, right? <laughs> We're at the bus stop waiting for the bus to Animal Kingdom today. And my favorite park. Yeah. It's our, probably our favorite park. It has a lot of our favorite things there. Yeah, um, and it caters to animals that need help. Yeah. That's always nice. So we don't have any like specific plan and we did not buy the Genie Plus today. No. So um, we'll just take a look at wait times when we get there and just uh, you know. Yeah, like the bat, we're winging it. Yeah, we're winging it. So funny. Animal kingdom winging it. <laughs> the weather does call for exactly. some rain, so we'll see. Right now it's not at all. It's really nice. Yeah, I feel like this time of year in Florida, it's like, it just calls for rain every day. There's little storms pop up out of nowhere. If it does rain, hopefully it's not for too long. Yeah. Um, we decided so. against bringing our book bag with our umbrella and our rain jacket, so we'll see, we'll see if we regret that or not. <laughs> but we will bring well, you along to Animal Kingdom with us today. Some, let's have some fun, no plans, just kind of going at it. Let's have uh, a wild time. Yeah, we're going to be wild and crazy. <laughs> and the park closes at 8 or 8? 8, eight, 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 eight o'clock, yeah. Okay. So, okay. so if, we don't usually make it 8 hours in a park anymore, right? right so we'll see if we can make it to the end of the day if we make it to the end of the day we'll probably get in line for flight of passage yeah but we may not ride that ride today it's a possibility just because it would eat up so, so much time yeah and we only have one day in the park today yeah we are going again in a couple days oh we are yeah didn't know that <laughs> yes, you did. I did. That was my idea. <laughs> See, you're the one that I forgot that you it. changed it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. So we'll, we don't know. Yeah. If the cards are shuffled, we'll see what comes out. Yeah. All right. It'll be fun. Let's go. Here's our bus 
animal kingdom. Okay, we just got off the bus. Going to Animal Kingdom. I love the music, it welcomes you in. <laughs> we definitely do think we are special. Because who knows if we'll ever have an annual pass again, ever. <laughs> so we just like to take advantage of those little things. I didn't mind go. There we go. It said, welcome home, and it was purple. I've never seen that you can see those so well from over here. Oh yeah. See the flying mountains, or the floating mountains of Pandora. <laughs> So this little entryway section is called the Oasis. And then once you get past the Oasis, um, the park is in sections. It's got Dino Land, Asia, Africa, and Pandora. Is that it? And then like the island, Discovery Island is in the middle. So the oasis section here is just kind of a walking path with some animal attractions here and there. Just some ducks in here. <laughs> Nothing. But just some Disney ducks doing their thing. If I were a duck, I'd want to hang out here. <laughs> wow. Sorry. I seen her in a while. I know, I forget her name. Oh, here she comes. Oh my goodness. Oh my, there she is. She so She blends in. Find the pole though. Yeah. That's really cool. Small deer. I only see ducks. Okay, over here it says we should maybe see a babarusa. It's like a pig deer. <laughs> Let's see if we can see it. Oh, there it is, right there. Wow. There he is again. There he is. Hi, buddy. He's cute. Babarusa. He's got a little duck friend down there. <laughs> and then once you leave the oasis area, um, once you leave the oasis area, you come around and you see the beautiful 
tree of life. So pretty. I love it so much. Also, this beautiful river here with the lily pads. Goes all the way around Discovery Island. Yeah, this is where, this is Discovery Island now once we get over that bridge. And then the different areas kind of branch out around. So if you went to the left, you go to Africa or Pandora. That's the way we usually go. Yeah, we normally get here like earlier and we go that way to Pandora. But, uh... Cruise time is vacation. <laughs> a little later. We got Dino Land. And it's tough to be a bug going this way. Pandora and Africa that way. Uh, there's Pumba and Timon. Timon. <laughs> Pumba and Timon and then... Uh, the sign for Dino Land. As long as, as Nemo and Friends, is that in Dino Land? Okay. It's kind of right on that edge of Asia and Dino Land. Yeah. But there's a play area for kids and stuff and some carnival games. It's beautiful back here. Yeah, I want a canoe on there. As long as there's no gators. <laughs> That would be the one place where I'd be like, that's no, there's no gators there, honey. <laughs> right. But, you never know. Oh, the time is so... Very, very good ride, very fun. They kind of polished it up a bit a couple of years ago, and I don't think they did a really good job. It seems darker in there. The lighting is more, I don't know, conducive to the atmosphere. It's nice. I think it says 30 minute wait. Okay, that's good. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. We do not have a uh, pass today. This is that movie. Dark places and scary dinosaurs coming our way. 30 minute standby. It's about noon. That guy's scary. I get scared on this ride. Cause they come pop, popping out at you with their snarly, snarly jaws. And that's scary. All kinds of fossils in here. The tiny arms of Tyrannosaurus Rex. of the dragging tail? I don't know about that. Is that real? No idea. The scoop on dinosaur poop. <laughs> That's a big piece of poop. <laughs> oh my. Enter this big room in the queue here, which is pretty cool. Big skeleton there. Into the Dino Institute. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon. And I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator. I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal, and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates. We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the Iguanodon. Then, I'll enlarge the transport field and boom! You're back with one additional passenger extra large. It's the ride vehicles. They are identical to the Indiana Jones ride vehicles in Disneyland, if you've ever been on that. I'm ready. Okay. 
That was a good time. I screamed. Okay. Where's your buddy Carnotaurus? Yeah, he scares me. So like the main dinosaur that comes up on the right hand side when they take your photo, like wasn't actually. No, it was on the left this time. Yeah, they put something on the left, but I saw the photo come from the right from that same spot. Oh, I saw it come from the left. Oh. It's like big flashes of light. I guess we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But one of the anima animatronics wasn't yeah. working. But it was still a fun time. Got a couple screams out of me. Yeah, did. A couple little screams out of hide of my hand. <laughs> and our row wasn't full, which is unusual. I think it's because that tour was right behind me. That's exactly what so it was. So yeah. they didn't have enough people to fill our row, which was kind of nice. No, I like when you're sitting right next to me. <laughs> so I can do stuff to you. <laughs> Scare you. So this is where Primeval World used to be. It's all gone. We have no idea what's going there. So currently the only attractions in Dino Land is Dinosaur and this uh, Triceratops spin. Which is like Dumbo, but you're on a Triceratop. <laughs> and then they have a couple, they have Restaurantosaurus and a couple snack stands and things so not a whole lot going on in dino land so we'll see i feel like it they could update it make it the most people have ever seen playing these games yeah dino belly yeah and this is how you exit out of dino land and then we're gonna walk towards the uh, Asia part of the park. Oh, got some Powerade. So this theater right here is usually called Theater in the Wild and they show uh, Finding Nemo musical here. Kind of like a Broadway show with lots of cool puppets and things. Show. Yeah. Great show. The theater too big. But as far as I know, it has not even ever opened up since the pandemic. And what I heard was that they are updating it with a little bit of a new plot and some new songs. Um, but they're keeping it, you know, the same kind of style. So maybe it'll be open next time. Finding Nemo the Musical. So, we are headed to Expedition Everest. Um, most likely the single riders line. We'll check the, check the time for the standby, but... Forty-five minutes, so... We're gonna do the single riders and maybe the line will, time will drop later today. We love doing it at night too, so. Love these prayer flags up here. Love the decorations everywhere, the theming. So the single riders line is kind of hidden back here. Like, I'm not sure people even know that there is a single riders line down here. They don't really advertise it. But there is a sign right here. What? Yeah. It's okay. These folks in line. Alright, as a single rider, we got um, separated, but he's only two rows behind me, so it's not, you know, we've rid the, ridden this before. We did wait maybe 20 minutes, I would say. So here's our train.
Okay, we are headed to Cali River Rapids. Our last couple trips have been, um, it's been closed. So, excited to do this. Okay, we're waiting in line for Cali River Rapids still. It's a long wait, it's about 50, it was posted 50 minute wait. It's gonna be 50. Yeah, but most of the line's been in the shade, so it's been nice. Um, we're about to enter this cool like temple building that I'll show you. Um, the smell of flame tree barbecue is in the air. <laughs> yeah, it smells good. So I've been taking a lot of photos that um, you can see on our Instagram. But I'll show you this part of the queue that's coming up here. Part of the queue at Cali River Rapids. I think we're almost there. It was raining, but I think it stopped. I don't think it's well, maybe it is still raining. Yeah, I think it still is, but not as hard as it was like when it first started. So here we go. You will get wet. You may get soaked. It's an exciting high-speed whitewater raft adventure with sharp turns and sudden drops. <laughs> Okay, we just got off of Cali River Rapids and we got totally soaked. <laughs> it just has one big drop, but that one big drop like dropped a giant like tidal wave on top of our entire boat. <laughs> I don't know if they leave it up to somebody or if it's like temperature, length of line. They just crank it up. Yeah. Um, so like right when you come down that drop, usually the people on the side that is down, they get wet. Yeah. Clyde and I were opposite going to down. Yeah, so, so I thought we weren't going to get wet. This big wave come up, I'm <laughs> thinking to myself, oh, they're going to get so wet. And it just <laughs> kept coming. And everybody in the whole boat got wet. We all got soaked. Yeah, so that was fun. But the rain kind of stopped. Yeah, the rain stopped and hopefully the sun will come out and we can get dried off.